As you probably noticed, the grass is a bit long, but um, I'm getting to that probably this weekend. It's been raining a lot in Melbourne. So obviously a new front door, new house really. Oh, got to give it a bit of a push. Okay, so this is the entrance to the place. Hallway, obviously upstairs, and that's the main reason for the video. We'll have a look in here. So this is kind of the lounge room, which originally we're going to have it as a pinball room, but that idea got scrapped. So, um, yeah. So basically this is where I do some computer work, my 4K TV, obviously play the modern games here. Uh, take a real quick walk through. Bedroom, um, you know, nothing too special here. Crooked picture up there. Um, son's room, toilet, just a sitting room to watch TV. Um, kitchen, and this is the dining room and the famous Yamo 999 speakers that were mentioned a few vlogs ago. And that's out in the backyard and that's getting the final touches are happening out there. I'll tell you something very interesting at the end of the video about that. Just another spare bedroom, bathroom, so everything's different. The whole house eventually got rebuilt and ta-da, the cinema room. So it's an 11 seat um, cinema room, all THX Ultra 2 certified or THX2 Ultra certified. And yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. We're gonna demo it now. It's, um, you know, it is what it is. Let's go and have a look upstairs. Okay, so this is it. Upstairs, it's basically the full size of the house, but in one massive room. It's had a few changes along the way. Let's quickly walk you through it. So obviously these are the dedicated machines. Um, you know, the outruns and all the old, anything from Space Harrier to Power Drift along here and Monaco Grand Prix over there. A bit of music of outrun there. Um, the pinball machines. So I've got three operational, I'm still working on the rest. So when we come in here, it's basically the upright machines. Because uh, I ran out of room there, believe it or not, I've put some dedicated machines in here. So Virtual Fighter, good old Turbo Run, House of the Dead, Virtual Racing, etc, etc. So yeah, it's all, it's all happening here. Okay, so this is the video game or the console section part. So it's the other side of the room. Arcades, uh, console stuff. So just it's all sprayed along the wall. Um, you, you know I'm gonna say it, I'm out of room as usual. You know, no matter how big things get, you always manage to run out of room. Down here have the Commodore section, so Amiga, Commodore 64, 128, all that kind of thing, and all the CRTs. Uh, just to, like there's a loose plasma here. When I have friends over, we have the screens connected and we play Halo, Gears, whatever. Bit of COD. Um, yeah, so I've got the CRT for the older consoles, like the Mega Drive and Super Nintendo and etc. And there's a few plasmas here, and we'll get on the um, Xbox, PlayStation 3, and there's uh, a few LCD 60 inch screens there. And same thing, these are just for the modern consoles and obviously the modern games behind it, which makes sense. Okay, so let's go and look at the last part of uh, this vlog and I'll explain a few things to you. As you can see, my garage is full of, um, well, it's full of rubbish at the moment, pinball machines and still arcade machines that I couldn't fit up there. So what does this mean? Well, it means I'm out of room again. Even after spending all this money and building all this house, no matter what, I'm out of room. The, the games, I haven't even put half of them up and the cars are out of control. So, unfortunately, the next vlog, I'll see you at the new house. Bye for now. It's a long road when you're on your own And it hurts when they tear your dreams apart And every new town just seems to bring you down Trying to find It's a real war right outside your